I've always been scared for my life while training because we see dead body all every day where I come from. Like, like the last video I post of me lying down, the bullets, the bullets were flying over the court and we had to go down kind of for an hour too. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here with another video today. When I watched this video, I watched it again and again. This video was really, really inspiring. You know, I love Cameroonians because Cameroonians are so hardworking. Us Cameroonians, we are so hardworking. We are dedicated in what we like doing. So let me not waste any your time. Let me just say what this video is about. I saw this video on the internet, on, on Instagram precisely. This guy, his name is Nkwain Irene. This guy loves basketball so much. He was like trying to tell us his story, his passion about basketball. And when I watched this video, I already felt motivated. And I thought that it's not going to be nice if I don't share this video with a community I'm trying to build on YouTube. So guys, I just want you to watch this video. Tell me what you think about it. As I said, I love Cameroon and I love sharing interesting stories that can change people's lives because I can really say watching this video, I really feel motivated to follow my passion. I like do what I like doing every day and every day. So guys, I think that was all. And don't forget to like the video and share the video. If you think the video really um, sparked something in you, you know, you can leave a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to share the video, like it and subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, thanks for watching and see you in my next video and you can enjoy the video as it goes. I've always been scared for my life while training. Because we see dead body all every day where I come from. Like, like the last video I post of me lying down, the bullets, the bullets were flying over the court and we had to go down kind of for an hour too. But for that basketball, I don't think I can do anything. Basketball is something that keeps me going. That kind of positive energy that keeps me going. Energy from Cameroon, still thriving basketball player here in Cameroon. I've been training every day, close to three to four years now. Intense training, trying to get better, just to be the best at what I do, so I can also have that opportunity, that chance to play in the NBA, make my dreams come true. I know that thousands of other people are out there fighting for what I want to be, like playing in the NBA too. So I need to put in all the work, like going 100% in. Like sometimes I even think of going 102%. Um, my country has been in crisis for almost four years now. There's a military base down where I train. So there's always that kind of attack and here and there and so kind of conscious. And when you're shooting, the bullets are always flying to the court. So you have to lie down to keep yourself safe, safe for the moment. Sometimes there's some kind of lockdown. Like here, this Monday, something we call goes down. Nobody leaves the house, just need to train at home. That's why most of my videos on that day are done in the night. So it has been a difficult moment for me for these past four years. I've been driving so hard to train, but I find it difficult sometimes. Getting all that recognition from House of Bounds, everybody coming in like, you're doing good, keep on doing what you're doing work on this, I want to see you do this. Now I can say I'm, I'm proud that like, I have coaches all over the world, people I've never seen before, like people don't even know me. They keep on encouraging me on what to do, on how to work on this, and how to get better, and get a better opportunity somewhere else, like a thousand other people out there. So I just kind of, those are the kind of things that keep on motivating me. You have um, King Handels, you have um, the assistant coach of Lakers, he hands it. He also follows me on IG, like 
once in a while time told me young fella keep walking like that just that just that word they like, keep walking my favorite player of all time I'll go with LeBron James that's the person I grew up watching the way he handled himself on and off the court and encouraged me he has really inspired me for the way I walk everything Pascal Siakam and Jembi that have been flying the flags of Cameroon for almost like three to four years now in the NBA. I want to be like those guys. I just want to relate my story with them because they left from where I came from. And, and they are out there, they are doing big things. I just want to be like, if they could do it from Africa to the US and they're playing in the NBA, why not me? See kids here, are talented, not just in basketball, in football, everything out, but they're not having the opportunity to, to be out there. So, me having that kind of goal, I have a goal, and, 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 and uh, trying to put myself out there so I can also come back for them and tell them, hey, you can do it. If I could do it, why, well, you know, just kind of putting me 102% here, yeah, I'm going to do it. So, where I come from also inspires me a lot, like everything going around me. Inspiring people just around me has been the main objective of everything. Like I just want, I just want to grow with people around me. I don't want to leave anybody behind. I don't want to get all the success and everything around me just for myself. I just want everybody around me, especially where I come from. Let's take everything to the next level.